Hey, um, in this video I'm going to cover two things. First one is going to be how to create hotkeys for your playback control and the second one is creating quick selection sets. The first one is playback control and uh, it's just really helpful because every time you want to watch your animation or what you have you have to go over here and push the play button and if you want to stop it then you have to push the stop button. So instead of having to do that, you can just go on your keyboard and press uh, a customly assigned uh, hotkeys to do that for you. So in order to do that, you go to first Windows, Settings and Preferences, and Hotkey Editor. And we're going to go to Playback Controls. Now you can assign things for next frame, next key. These already have current hotkeys. Uh, playback forward does not, though, uh, and that's what we want. So I'm going to suggest Command One and uh, and Command One because if you query it, you'll see that it's assigned to nothing. So I'll go ahead and assign that Command One, and I'll go to Playback Stop, and I'll assign that to Two Command Two. Sign see it up there and then we can close it now when we want to see our animation go through we can press command one and then command two command one two one two just makes it a lot easier alright the second thing is quick selection sets and uh... and before you create a quick selection set you need to be familiar with the shelf editor and that's up here and of course you have all the the general curves, surfaces, etc. But we're cre going to create a custom one, so we want to go over into the shelf editor and just create a new shelf. Go ahead and name it, and it'll create a new one over here. Now we have a blank shelf, and we're going to put little icons on it or little buttons. So for this particular selection set, uh, I want it to be for everything um, because uh, in animation you get into things like this where if you, uh, you'll you set up different poses just one frame from each other and then you'll take them and, and give them space uh, after you've set them all up. So for example, this left foot is going from the front to the back and so I'm going to go ahead and scrub that over to 12. Now it would be nice to have the entire body do that but in this case it's just the left foot that's doing the movement over 12 frames and then the other parts of the body were still on that second frame. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back and uh, start on quick selection sets. So to start off on this, uh, we need to select everything that we want to have keyed when we press the button. So shift, click, shift, click, and make sure you click everything. Uh, for example, this looks like it's selecting these rotating hips controls, the rotating hip controls, but it is actually not. And so you have to make sure to shift, click those as well. Once you do that, and you've made sure that you've uh, selected everything, you go to Create Sets and Quick Selection Set. Here I'll just call it All. Uh, you can call it anything you want. And you go ahead and Add to Shelf. Now at first it's not going to show up in the Shelf Editor, but you just put your mouse over top of it and it'll pop up onto the screen. Now you can go ahead and click that and it'll automatically select everything for you. So click everything. You see these two frames. I can go ahead and shift click it and scrub it over to 12 and now everything has been moved. So that's it. Hot keys and quick selection sets.